what end of the lake should you concentrate on this time of the year when it's really cold these cold winter months December January February real early March Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. 2022. Some of y'all remember back when 2000 came around, they thought the world might end. Well, it didn't. We're still here. And uh, 2021 was a challenging year. I hope everybody has a great, prosperous, happy, successful, joyful, wonderful, and thankful 2022. 2021 had some bumps in the road for us, but again, it was a great year in many ways. Uh, there was a lot of very, very good things happened in 2021 also, even though there were some heartaches and some difficulties. All right, we're going to start the year off looking in the book of Genesis. Why would I do anything else? Genesis 120, then God said, let the waters abound with an abundance of living creatures. What a great way to start a new year and to start a new book and we don't have the book yet so we've got the manuscript right here and you know if you look at this manuscript it's uh it's kind of written on and it's not exactly the final version but it's the only one I had it's the only one I had so uh, I think I may have the final version somewhere but I can't find it uh, God said let the waters abound with an abundance of living creatures we all love to fish waters that are teeming with fish when I first fished the thousand islands areas on the St. Lawrence River by the way, we've got uh, some shows from the St. Lawrence River on this year's television series uh, on ESPN2 uh, today on the Discovery Channel tomorrow and about another dozen net networks. We'll be on ESPN2 first 26 weeks of the year. We'll be on a lot of networks all 52 weeks. Uh, when I fished at St. Lawrence River, I couldn't believe how many bass were there. I mean, I absolutely couldn't believe how many bass were there. If there was a good-looking spot... There was a bass there. I mean, if you thought, wow, that's a good looking spot, there was a fish there, absolutely no doubt about it. You could actually call your shot. There was so many fish. It was like speaking a fish into existence. Oh, I bet there's one right there on the edge of that rock. Oh, I bet there's one on the edge of that boat dock. You could almost speak a fish into existence. God did exactly just that. God spoke things into existence. That's exactly what God did. He spoke everything into existence. Land, water, animals. Yep, he spoke the fish into existence. Wouldn't that be an awesome power to have? Think about that. Wouldn't that be something if you could speak something into existence? Well, you actually have it. You can speak joy. You can speak joy into others' lives by saying something nice. You can speak courage into your kids and your friends with words of encouragement. You can speak health and peace with prayer and understanding words to folks who are hurting. And you can speak love. You can speak love with a simple smile. Just a simple smile. Someone you might not even know speaks love. Speak something great into existence today. You know, that ought to be our goal. We make New Year's resolutions, and I'm sure a lot of you made New Year's resolutions. That should be our goal. That should be our goal for all of the rest of the days of our lives. Speaking something great into existence in people's lives. Here's our tip for the day. The lower end of the lakes near the dam is usually better in the cold winter months. That's right. The lower end of the lakes down near the dam. You know, we target a lot of big fish this time of the year. We actually, uh, when we say we target those big fish, we actually go out and try to find those with a Garmin live scope suspended. And where we start looking on almost every lake we go to is down around the dam, down in that dam area, the lower end of the lake. That end of the lake has got the clearest water. That end of the lake holds the biggest fish. And it's places where you find fish suspended over 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 foot of water. It's just amazing how many big fish are down in that area. And it's also an area of the lake that gets fished a little bit less as the year, as the year goes on. Um, as the year goes on, most people start concentrating in the upper end. When the water starts warming up, we go just the other opposite way. We go the, the, all the way up the other end of the lake, up in the rivers and the creeks and the tributaries that run into the lake. But in the wintertime, fish down around the dam, that's where the big girls live. And you want to catch the personal best, January, February, real early March, probably the very best times to do it. Guys and girls, starting out a brand new year, reading out of a brand new book, Catch a Better Life. We should have that book around March, I hope. Go out there and have you a great one today. Have you a great year. 
a great month, a great year. Oh my goodness. Remember, I sure do love you.